I got a comment on my Pulsejet video that said this. This looks so cool, but also so unpractical. And it got me thinking, are KSP Pulse Jets actually worse than regular jets? I did some experimenting to try and figure it out. Here's a graph of all the data I collected. Regular jets showed an incredibly strong linear correlation, which makes a lot of sense. From a game design perspective, it's likely that both thrust and fuel consumption are both directly tied. Pulse jets, on the other hand, showed a slightly less strong, partly curved correlation. The pulse jet data was somewhat hard to gather easily, since I had to get an idea for the average thrust and then multiply that by the proportion that the pulse was on, compared to off. Because of this, I only got half the amount of points data, and the error is likely much larger. Still, it's very clear that the pulse jets still follow a trend that is very similar to that of the regular jets, though slightly more efficient than the regular jets, at least when the thrust is about half. It's very likely that this apparent bump in efficiency is just due to the errors when calculating the average fuel consumption and thrust. I'm almost 100% certain that this is the case, especially since my method of gathering the data was actually to just look at it and kind of generally gauge the average, which isn't exactly perfectly accurate. This does mean that while pulse jets aren't more efficient than regular jets, they are at worst equally efficient, which is good enough. There are only some cases when I would say that pulse jets are actively worse, and that's obviously when you specifically need a constant thrust, such as for VTOLs or particularly smooth flight, which aren't exactly common cases, I suppose. One thing I would like to mention is how I noticed that the throttle response is quite different compared to regular jets. For regular jets, it's just a linear correlation. The higher the throttle, the higher the thrust. But for pulse jets, it seems to be something else entirely. I mean, I didn't even bother gathering the data. I probably should have. But still, it seems to be more of a curve, like an exponential even. Not really sure. Might be worth looking into. Another interesting thing I noticed was that because of the way that the pulse jet works, when you stop it, it stops immediately. It doesn't have a spool down, which could be useful in some cases. To answer the question, no, they're not impractical. Are they better than regular jets? No, not even slightly. But I don't think that that's important. I think that they look cool. I think that anyone who uses them is using them because they look cool. Sure, they're slightly more complicated, a little bit more parts, that's true. Slightly heavier, but only a tiny bit. I would even go so far to say that the only major downside is having to set up the cal controllers. Thanks for watching this video. I hope someone finds this information useful. On another note, I'm honestly really surprised by how well the last video performed. I guess you guys just really like when I make weird tech in KSP. See you in the next one.